become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to focus on Silver Era techniques specializing on the development of the triceps muscle. I've been recently dedicating much time to Silver Era techniques for developing the biceps, so I thought I'd start introducing more on the triceps being the larger muscle of the upper arm. The information gathered today comes from Barton Horvath, another relatively unheard of and forgotten legend of the very early Silver Era, one could almost say from the very late Bronze Era, who in the mid to late 30s and also in the early 1940s was featured on the cover of many muscle magazines as one of the best developed bodybuilders of the North American continent. He also wrote many articles and courses and today's video is based on his excellent booklet called Arm Development which is small but a complete booklet nevertheless featuring forgotten old school exercises for developing the triceps which we will be looking at today. The exercises are a modification of weightlifting, weightlifting exercises as was the main practice of the day as advocated by such great uh, legends such as uh, John Grimmick featured here. We can appreciate for example here with John Grimmick uh, this is a very famous photo which was featured on several covers including Iron Man at the time and as he's leaning on that column you can really appreciate these heavy He's very heavy triceps development um, and he also obviously used very similar exercises at the time as featured in today's video so let's get straight into it. Barton Horvath was actually born way long ago in 1912 and passed away in 2004 living a very healthy 92 years. Um, he's long remembered because he was the very first uh, bodybuilder to be featured on Joe Wader's magazine Your Physique. The very first cover ever from Joe Wader um, on Your Physique was actually Barton Horvath in this double biceps pose. He was both a bodybuilder and a weightlifter and very interestingly really personified the Greek ideal of having a sound mind in a sound body because besides being a weightlifter he also was an author and an artist focusing on opera and painting. Although he didn't compete much, he did come second in the medium class in a 1950 Best Developed Athlete in America competition run by the IFBB. Now after recently reading the booklet that I mentioned earlier called Arm Development written by Barton Horvath, I discovered many tricep exercises that were modified versions of weightlifting exercises, for example such as the bent press which was a specialty of the Saxon Brothers and I previously um, made a video about the Saxon Brothers and their specialization on the bent press and basically these guys were the world's best bent presses ever and anyway um, I discovered one exercise uh, featured here the modified side bent triceps press as modeled by a very young Joe Wader you basically start with a dumbbell at your shoulder and you stand with it and um, as you begin to press it overhead you actually lean away to the side and in doing so you actually use more of the triceps than you would the shoulder and this being a compound movement allows you to use quite heavy poundage so it's very powerful acting on the triceps muscle and I, uh, and I highly recommend that you try it and, and feel it yourself it is way better uh, than an isolation exercise such as a uh, dumbbell triceps extension as an example you can really handle way more poundage so it's a very powerful exercise and I really really like it. Now the seesaw press is an exercise that was actually commonly used in the bronze and silver era especially the, the early silver era and it is kind of a synthesis between the shoulder press the alternating shoulder press and uh, kind of like a side press in that you are bending a little to the side um, although it more resembles an alternating dumbbell press which essentially is what it is but the fact that you bend a little bit to the side allows you to have uh, to handle even more poundage than you normally would in a strict dumbbell press this is what I like so much about it as mentioned earlier the exercise is performed with two arms and they alternate in their pressing actions again it is a very powerful compound movement 
and because you are getting assistance from the shoulders by pressing overhead you can actually also handle way more poundage because you are using also this slight lean away as you can see again Joe Wader uh, leaning to the side slightly it does really fry the triceps um, in, in that you, you really can handle a lot of poundage and that's what I like about these two exercises um, they are based on weightlifting exercises and as many of us know who've done weightlifting uh, when we do weightlifting we can handle a lot more poundage than in more strict exercises such as the military press or the triceps extension these synthesis exercises, these, these exercises which combined the pressing action of the shoulder and the extension of the tricep are real gems to me, uh, mainly because you can handle so much um, poundage, which will obviously stimulate way more muscular growth than a strict exercise. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on these unique tricep exercises from the very late bronze slash early silver era as presented by Barton Horvath in his booklet arm development which is available on my website uh, you'll see that in the next slide um, here I leave you with some awesome muscle uh, covers sorry, muscle mad covers of Barton Horvath here for, for example 1937 strength and health and 1940 the very first your physique magazine from Joe Wader again there is Barton Horvath in his famous double biceps pose Again, hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thank you for watching and leave me your comments. If you'd like to donate uh, and enjoy my work, please visit PayPal or become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash Golden Era Bookworm. You can purchase the booklet Arm Development by Barton Horvath on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. If you'd like to purchase Arm Development, written by Barton Horvath, again a very complete booklet which not only focuses on tricep development but it also focuses on bicep development and it has a nice section on forearm development using uh, the old techniques from the silver era and bronze era. You can also purchase um, Reg Park courses and Steve Reef's courses on www.goldenerabookroom.com. I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.